All right, let's play this whole thing here. We got a new set. Cool. <laughs> it's cool, I like it. I think this all works well. It's got your... Got to look for... Once you start splining, you know, we have to be careful with things where the drop in in the root and the amount of movement up might get a bit too bouncy. This, like right now, even it pops, but I know this is just because of step mode, but just watch out. Once you get into that, it might just, you might have to tone that down a bit. And then things like this, where just for a moment, I know I see this going on first, but it will be a bit of a twinning move. The move at the same time, the angle is very similar. That's all cool through here. If you can, I would just find a, a breakdown where it's a bit more like this. So you have a cleaner silhouette. So it's not overlapping in shapes there. The both uh, arm with the forearm. That's all cool. Same thing here. Careful as you continue where even though they're offset, there's a slight twinning effect there, but also timing wise. So just watch out as you continue. Like as a, as a overall pose, it's a bit too mirrored. So you might want to work on some offsets and just a change. Even if something that's, that's like this, where one arm, we might even hold his belly a bit and one arm is there, you know, stuff like that. That I think should be working well. I'm still curious. You might have to preface this when he looks up with a frame or two before before this one with a huge facial reaction eyes really wide open mouth open into this so that mentally he is freaking out and then this makes more sense versus him just kind of huh and then really in a way overacting the you know the freak out but I think if you have a big facial reaction, then this will make some, will make more sense, and you can you can bite us by that more. That's all cool. I really like this here. The little the little step back there. I think that's cool. And they'll pose, and that he has like the elbow, uh, the shoulder turn to it. I think that's really nice. Once you get to into this, you might already want to turn your body in Y just a bit so you have a bit of a wider thing where you have a bit more negative space and a bit of that arm there. Not like my drawing because that's a bit too twin, but it's not so profile. You know, even something like this, this is nice. Maybe getting into that a bit sooner. Uh, and you mentioned here, I got in your email, you're not sure if the laughing at the end is coming through. I think it's fine. It all depends how you get into this, you know? You can have this, and then you can start a smile, and then you can have a bit of a chuckle, a bit of an up and down in the chest that then leads into this, right? It all, all kind of depends how you go from pose to pose and what actions lead. And then once this happens here, let me see the end. We should still have a little movement in there and not just keep it isolated to that. That's cool. This is much better now with the, the offsets and how, you know, there's some more complexity in there. I think that's cool. And then you want to have this over more frames. Like right now it happens, and I know this is a step, but once you get into the spline, you, we want enough time for the pause. I think, bam, like how long it takes until no movement to movement is good. You might have like another four frames of nothing moving, but then I would add like two seconds of slowly sliding down in that curve this way. Um, I think that we just have to extend the shot a bit. Now, um, oh, you say the set works a lot better. Yes, I had a question with boxing gloves. When they're boulders, 
It makes sense for them to just sl slam down, but I was thinking about adding some... Well, like the gloves are connected to a big machine, so there will be some shake or back and forth after they hit. You can. I mean, if that's set up where you can have... I would probably go from this to that where imagine like this part of the glove would be down here so the glove is much more curved in and the thumb is here and you can really you know bend this and then you got that the coil here so it's really squashed together and then over maybe two frames just so and it can have you know a bit of a bounce in there that's totally fine i'm curious if either you want to rotate it in y this way or this way to give us a nicer silhouette. I feel like we want like some a break in the silhouette of the the thumb. So imagine it's almost like this section here is kind of we're facing it in front and you got the the this here, the laces, whatever. And you know, and then imagine the thumb just kind of breaks that silhouette. Could be in front of it, you know, something where in my horrible drawing, the thumb is like that. Or the other way where we see this round, but the thumb is out here. And then you got that. Like, either way, but I think that we could just push that a bit more. And of course, in my crazy quest of avoiding tangents, I will bring this a bit over this way so that this is not so edgy there. It forms a bit of a tangent there. Let's give this a bit better room. Like here, even... Let's go back here. That's much better. But same thing here. I almost feel like in Y, either way, and they don't have to be the same. So there's a bit of an offset. I think that's cool. It would even be fun to have like a slight, like something, not tape or something. I almost feel like that's why I was drawing those lines before so that you would have, this is the clear section that comes up and it's not just a broken piece. I don't know if this is important. This is me being weird about, about set pieces. You should focus on, on, obviously, on the animation. But I think it's cute. I think this makes um, just a bit more sense instead of the, the mountains. Of course, anybody can argue against it. Um, it's all very subjective. But I'm glad you changed it. I think, I think this works better. And you can absolutely start going into uh, spline or whatever your process is. But we so you can kind of see... You know, a few more breakdowns, um, you know, just to see transitions and stuff like this, how it's going to work out once you spline it. I'm also glad that you're starting like this, that you start the shot on action. Instead of feeling where he waits and then and action and then he starts moving. So overall, lots of good stuff. Thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.